Eric Lawson began his lifelong love of comic books when he read issues that his father had collected as a kid. As a boy, Lawson created his own homemade comics featuring characters he created on his own. One character who went through many permutations during Lawson's childhood was known as the Dryden. In the early 1980s, Lawson and his friends Al Harris and Kevin Eyes published an anthology fanzine featuring their respective characters called Graphic Fantasy. Lawson's contribution brought closer to the most recent incarnation of his character, then called Paul Dryden. Well, in the days before the internet, people who were doing comics independently would often exchange them in the mail. You know, I'll give you the first issue of my book or the first issue of your book kind of thing. And at the time, I was doing a comic called Gizmo, and he was self-publishing graphic fantasy, yeah, yeah, which the dragon was in. Lawson's work attracted Chicago-based Gary Carlson, who was working on a black and white and thousand superhero title he would self-publish called Metaton. One of the characters Carlson created to star in the book was an amiable alien soldier named Van Dodd. Carlson had hired an artist to design the character, but was unhappy with the results. Lawson was brought in to redesign Van Dodd from scratch and told plot and draw his adventure in Metaton. Lawson worked at not only the two beaded town for publishers Marvel and DC, but also smaller publishers like Eclipse and AC Comics. But Lawson became best known for his work on Spider-Man in 1992. Lawson and fellow popular comfort artists Todd McFarlane, Rob Liefeld, Jim Valentino, Jim Lee, Macho Vetri, and Will Spartaccio made an announcement that sent shockwaves through the comfort industry and fan base. They had formed Image Comics, a new company that would publish creator own works. It was it was pretty exciting times. You know, everybody was was bailing on on the big two, and uh, the new company was being born. And a lot of new exciting titles were coming out. Spawn, Savage Dragon, all of them. Lawson naturally brought back his earliest creations. Due to Lito issued the title of his flagship image series, which changed to The Savage Dragon, and Lawson first tested the waters by releasing a free issue limited series starring the character. In the brand new continuity of the image universe, Dryden was an amnesiac found in a burning field who joined the Chicago police force to fight superpowered mutant criminals, also known as super freaks, particularly those affiliated with the Vicious Turtle, a gang led by the Dastardly Overlord, which included in their ranks such menaces at the deadly half-man, half-shot Mato. The miniseries proved to be a success. Indeed, image in its earliest months proved to be so successful that it beat out DC Thomas as the number two best-selling publisher. A year later, Lawson began an ongoing savage writing series and he didn't forget about his old friends when he did a Ninja Turtle crossover with Michael Dooney. The connection was just me and Eric knowing each other and wanting to do something together. And, you know, he was doing The Dragon at the time and I was doing turtle stuff, so it was a natural kind of idea to do it together. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for Lawson and Image. In the 1990s, a speculator boom and bust negatively affected the talent industry, and Image in particular had the bad habit of not releasing its many books on schedule, if at all. The speculative uh, market, you know, exploded when the when the company was born. Everybody was uh, looking into it as something new and fresh, and they wanted to make sure that they had multiple issues on each of the comics as they as they were released. Image faced not only outer turmoil but inner troubles as well. In 1996, Rob Liefeld resigned from the company and two years later, Jim Lee announced the sale of his satellite studio Wildstorm to DC Thomas. But Image trod onward as did the Savage Dryden series. Two decades later, Savage Dryden is the only original Image title still written and drawn by its creator and one of the longest running series with a consistent creative team. Why he stuck by it so long is because it's near and dear to his heart, I guess, because it's the, the character that he created as a kid that he's stuck with all these years.